Hey everybody, this is Perch, and this is a little segment called What's the Context Here? So uh, basically, uh, a lot of people sent me this page, and it appears on the page as though some kind of giant building demon creature is wandering around discussing its pronouns with Muslims while uh, uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man kind of looks on bemused. So uh, what is the content? A lot of people sent me this and a lot of people are confused as to what's going on. And, and uh, you know, it is it has been the subject of WTF Marvel is doomed for the last week. So let's give you the context. So at least, you know, what's going on around this issue. Now, before we get into it really quickly, as I give you the context, that does not mean you uh, have, you know, you don't need you, you, you can't think it's stupid. You can think it as stupid as you like. Um, you can continue to hate it. You could love it. You could decide it's better or worse. It's totally up to you. I'm just telling you what's going on around this thing in about eight minutes. Um, so if uh, you see it online, you see this panel, now you know what the hell is going on with the rest of this comic. Does that sound good? So first off, uh, this comic is actually from a uh, comic called Dark Web Miss Marvel number two. Now, this appears to be a two-part uh, comic, and it is basically part of the Dark Web mini event that is a crossover between Spider-Man and the X-Men. So how does Miles Morales get here? Well, in our first issue of uh, Dark Web Miss Marvel, basically uh, the content, well here, the context of Too Long Didn't Watch, uh, context was video, you could almost just stop it in about 10 seconds, is this is part of Inferno 2. If you remember, Inferno was a storyline uh, quite some time ago where Madeline Pryor became the Goblin Queen and basically invaded New York with the demons of limbo, turning inanimate objects like toilets and trash cans into demons, and they proceeded to eat and run amok until the X-Men stopped them. Um, in that series, the Avengers, Captain America, Spider-Man, several of the other characters crossed over, but it was really an X-Men event. This time around, uh, basically, uh, Madeline Pryor, who's been resurrected and part of the Krakoa era of the X-Men, convinced everyone that, nah, she's not so bad, and, uh, Magic basically handed over control of Limbo to Madeline Pryor, who immediately became the Goblin Queen again and decided to invade New York. So good, good choice there. So Madeline Pryor is teamed up with the clone of Peter Parker, Ben Riley, who has lost his memories and gone a bit wonky, calling himself Chasm. He's got a black and purple suit and he's uh, he's all evil. So anyway, in this comic, Miss Marvel, Madeline Pryor is hanging out, just causing trouble. In fact, the little panel says, Limbo, Madeline Pryor causes trouble. And uh, the, the comic is basically uh, sets off with Kamala Khan flirting with this other guy. And the flirting is going, I don't know, not terribly well. He decides, you know, uh, like any guy would, to immediately reveal that he is Hindu and she is Muslim. And uh, he's, you know, they're wondering if they can uh, date because they're they're not from they're not both Muslim. And uh, so he, uh, the demons immediately attack and, and run amok. Miss Marvel tries to save the day. She runs into Chasm and Chasm uh, says some uh, crazy magic -y words and sends her into limbo. Now, while she's in limbo, she has a variety of kind of uh, dumbassery fights where, uh, the demons are trying to kill her, but she just gets big and starts smashing them around, having so little trouble defeating the demons that, uh, they're basically saying she won't stop talking and she, uh, threatens to make a big throne out of their corpses and sit on it while talking some more. She, uh, she's giving them a lecture on being hangry and then, uh, tells them that, uh, they've got a cranky teenager on her, her their hands with no Wi-Fi. So, Completely annoyed with her, they send her back to Earth. Meanwhile, on Earth, the demon kind of plague is, is rolling around New York, and various things are coming to life, as I mentioned, like toilets and stop signs and mailboxes and things. And one of the things that comes to life, for some reason, is an entire mosque. So the entire building decides to uh, you know, grow a head and arms and legs and wings and start walking around. Um, it's got a number of people trapped inside the mosque who are having something of a little argument. Uh, as this thing is walking around, uh, Miss Marvel comes back to Earth and immediately runs afoul of a bunch of uh, bird demon creatures who are, have the spirits 
of famous inventors like uh, Farnsworth, Da Vinci, Tesla, Mary Curie, and Thomas Edison. And this is a callback from an earlier uh, issue of Miss Marvel, but that that's uh, th- th- then there's there's more of the, more of these bird creatures now. So while she's messing around with those, uh, she runs into Miles Morales who uh, helps her kind of defeat the birds. But then she says, nah, I got these things. No problem. They're wimps. Uh, she, she struggled with it originally in her own title, but what, whatever. So she sends Miles Morales out to uh, go find the mosque in the Hudson River who's wandering away with some people. And uh, he says, cool, nope, no problem. He'll, he'll take it off. He, he wonders if he should take off his shoes when he gets to the mosque. But uh, she says, no problem. So meanwhile, this mosque is just walking around and, uh, you know, the people are, uh, decide who are trapped inside of it that they have no hope of fighting this giant building demon. Now, why only one building is alive and the rest of them are not is anybody's guess. Uh, but, uh, they basically decide we should try talking to it rather than fighting. And at this point, um, this leads to this big page everybody's seen where the guy says, excuse me, brother Mosk. And then the uh, mosque says, why do you automatically assume I'm a brother, not a sister? And then talks about their, uh, their pronouns, which are the non-gendered JCM, that's Jersey City Mosque. And, and so the uh, Muslims that are trapped inside uh, apologize. Now, they're, in fairness, they're kind of terrified they're trapped inside of a walking building. And the uh, mosque creature says uh, they're just, they're pooping in the bathrooms and they're bitching at each other. And the uh, Muslims inside, as Spider-Man swings into the uh, picture, determine that, hey, it's all their infighting that has caused this mosque to get angry and turn into a demon and run around, you know, as opposed to the whole limbo thing. So as uh, as this is all happening, um, the bird inventors change Miss Marvel into a Captain Marvel costume and then comment that it's uh, weird that she doesn't also want to be white. Unsatisfied with that, Uh, They turn her into a worm, but she still easily defeats the creature, heads back to the mosque, and the mosque, uh, because somebody tried talking to it and not fighting, has determined that actually everything is pretty okay, and the mosque is just kind of flying around, no problems, not bothering anybody. And uh, that's the end of of that adventure. So as uh, Miles and uh, and Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, just kind of hang out underneath the mosque while it flies around the city, presumably uh, shitting act, literal bricks. Uh, the uh, Peter uh, Miles Morales takes the opportunity to tell Kamala Khan that, you know, she's uh, she's an amazing inspiration and validates the hell out of her with saying, what would Miss Marvel do? And that she's an inspiration to everyone everywhere and the best hero in the entire world and inspired. That's the end of the comic. So there's your context. It's basically Inferno and uh, demon wackiness. There's no real ever explanation why the building wants a non-gendered term for itself, but uh, what the hell? Who knows? So hopefully that explains a little bit. So as people, I'm not sure if that makes it better or worse, but there you have it. That's what's going on. That's where this comic came from. Any questions, any thoughts? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for listening. 